All right, so here we're going to do our first trial for um, uh, the image and object distance. So what I've done is I've set my source exactly at 60 centimeters, and my first object distance I'm going to set at 11. So it says 49, but what would you do is you take 60 minus 49, you get 11. Now, as long as I'm greater than seven and a half centimeters, then I should be able to get an image. If I move the lens too close to the source, that, that is a focal length or smaller, my image will form either infinity if you're exactly at seven and a half, or it'll um, be an imaginary or virtual image. So now, what I'm going to do is move the screen back and forth until I get a nice focused image. So right now, it looks kind of blurry, and you can see that at a certain point, it gets a little more, and it's kind of hard to do this with the iPad. Let me move it this way here. Now there's a little bit of wiggle room in here. It's sort of hard to tell exactly when it's perfectly focused. So it's probably plus or minus a couple centimeters, just to let you know. Now, let's measure the height of the image first. Now that I've got the focused image, there's actually a scale right on here. Now remember, the original object was 1.9 centimeters. That's that circle with the two things on it. That's actually sitting right there, uh, the crossed arrow target, except the light source is too bright so that uh, it, saturating the iPad. So let's see what this is. Uh, I, I've set it up. Let me let's see if I can set it up so that the image is at the bottom of the screen. I can either move this or can move this, the screen up a little bit. I want the screen to move up. Just, there it goes. So just slightly. So now I've set it. So the arrow is right at the zero point and I want to measure its height. So one, two, three, you can see it's actually already much larger than the original object. Now, sometimes it may be smaller. It depends on the object distance. Right now, the object distance is fairly small. It's like 11 centimeters and the focal length is seven and a half. Uh, so it's less than uh, two times the focal length. You're gonna have a nice big image. So what is it? One, two, three, and not quite four. So I'm going to have to read this off because it's a little hard for you guys to see it, but I'm going to put my ruler here. It's 3.7, 3.7. All right, so it's, I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see it because of the parallax error. So uh, I, I've read it off as 3.7. So the height of this object is 3.7, and the original height of the object is 1.9. So you can find the magnification by taking the height of the image and dividing it by the height of the object. Now let's just make sure we have our image distance. So remember, the lens is at 49. The image distance is the distance between that and where the image is at. So that's uh, where this plate is right here. So it's 27.5, it looks like 27.7. So what you do is you take 49, you subtract off 27.7, and you get your result for the image distance. And you write that down for the image distance for trial number one. Now we're going to do the calculations a little later. So uh, what we've gotten, we've got our first object distance is 11 centimeters. And our image distance is 49 minus 27.7. I'm going to let you calculate that out. And if you go down your data table, we've got object image distance and image height. So the rest of it we're going to do calculations with a little later on. And the image height I've already mentioned. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, all I'm going to do is move this a little off. Let me put it off to, I don't know, 43 or something like that. So now I'm moving this. I'm moving the, uh, the lens to 43, so now what is the object distance? I'm keep this at 60, so we've got 10 plus, it looks like 7, right? Uh, or 60 minus 43, it looks like 17 centimeters, right? 
So that actually is more than twice the focal length. So what we should expect is that the image is going to be a little tiny. So let's go see. Oh, look how tiny it is. So there. This is kind of hard to see because I got to move it at an angle. But it's much smaller than it was before. So there we have it. In fact, you can see that it's not even two centimeters. It looks like it's even smaller. So let's just move up the screen so we can actually try and measure the height of the object like we did before. All right, so let's just put that scale right at the tippy th tip. Yeah. So it looks, it looks like it's a little bit below two. So I'm just going to read that off for you because I know it's sort of hard for you to do that at home. Looks like 1.4, the best I can do, 1.4. It may be easier this way to put my the meter stick on, I mean, my, my ruler in. Yeah, actually, maybe it's one, more like 1.5. 1.5. So for our second trial, our image height is 1.5 centimeters. And what was the average distance again? It was 17, right? Now, what about the image distance? So I've got this at 30.5, 30.5. So what do you do to find the image distance? You take where the lens is, that's 43, you subtract off, 30.5, all right, for trial number two. Now we've got one more trial to do, and I'm gonna move it even further away, the, the object distance. I'm gonna make the object distance, uh, I'm gonna make it 20 centimeters. So I'm gonna make the object distance 20 centimeters for our last, our, our last uh, line here. So again, remember, light source object is at 60, Lens is at 40, object distance is 20. Now, let's move this guy around until we get a focused image here. And it's even smaller than before. It looks really tiny. All right, it's getting tinier and tinier. So there's my object. So let's do the object height really quick. 1.5. Looks like 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.2, so it has shrunk a little bit. And it's at 28.5, let's see, there's the plate right here. The screen is 28, it's less, it looks like 28.4, 28.4. All right, so for our last or third trial, the image distance would be the lens, which is 40, the lens uh, placement, which is 40 minus 28.4. And we already said the object distance was 20 centimeters, correct? And I read off the height. So we have all our measurements. Now what we're gonna do is go and do calculations with them, all right? 